Last day of our wonderful solo trip. I rode from Sydney to Melbourne and then to the natural wonder. Twelve apostles along the great ocean road. And riding back to Sydney today. So this brings us to the end of approximately 3,000 kilometers motorcycle tour. We've seen some of the magical natural landscapes of Australia and if you haven't watched the previous episodes, please do so and I'll leave a link in the description. or visit our channel for all travel videos. I'll be staying at another small farmhouse this evening and tomorrow we'll head back to Sydney. If you've traveled the Princess Highway, um, you would have crossed a small town called Bega and I'm staying a little far from this place. This is my guide for the day. And this place is away from busy streets and I'll need to go for a short ride for dinner. But it's worth spending an evening here, enjoying the farm and nature around it. peaceful farm and this beautiful little house all for myself. I usually book a shared room or single bedroom for cheaper cost but I found this place for a slightly higher price but well within a hundred dollars so I thought I would just stay here as it's the last night of the ride anyway so I can rest well and spend the evening with all the memories I gathered on this journey. As soon as I check in, I love exploring the place I'm gonna stay at. So here we go, let's take a quick look around the small farm. It isn't that small but surrounded with lush green landscape. I would love to wake up for a sunrise here. It is never enough enjoying the countryside for me. I can't wait for my next ride to some countryside soon. My guide, however, isn't happy with my drone at all. He soon became familiar with the drone and continued with his task. Took me around the farm to show some of his friends. So this is a place I spent my whole evening before embarking on the final leg of my journey. Oh, I forgot to tell you about another lovely place I came by today. This place is called the Lakes Entrance in Victoria, just a little before New South Wales border. But worth stopping by for lunch. If you have more number of days, you could even stay here to enjoy a relaxing lakeside and inlet areas. Alright folks, this is the final day of the ride and we are at a place called Naruma to see a naturally formed rock in the shape of Australia.
Yeah, there it is. Just a small attraction, but the scenery is just amazing. Let me show you around. You would have seen many lakes and inlets, but isn't this place unique and beautiful? I simply love the different color shades. So beautiful. Wrapping up with some beautiful sceneries and we'll now ride non-stop for another few hundred kilometers to reach Sydney. Thank you very much for staying with me on this joyful ride and stay connected with me for more such travel videos. We've also recently published travelogs from the Himalayas. Check it out by visiting our channel. Happy riding bikers and fellow travelers.